I saw you got some small ones in there. Hey? I saw you got some small ones in there. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm down with Luke chasing some brim. Today, we've had a massive rainfall and the water is absolutely filthy brown. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna use some bait. We're gonna use some chicken with some garlic spray on it. So something a little bit different. Hopefully, it can bring the fish in the area and we can hook up to a few. Normally, I'd like to use lures like the recent episode chasing some brim on that muscle vibe. But unfortunately, the water's a bit too dirty to sight spot some fish. So we're using some bait. So we're gonna get him in the water and see if we can get into a few fish. Luke's already in the water. I've just got a piece of chicken now. I'm gonna weave that a few times. A couple times is enough. And you got your bait just like that. Now, the secret. Whoa, I can smell it from here. What you wanna do is spray that, coat it in some secret garlic spray, and that should be the ultimate brim bait. It is a little bit windy now, and it's gonna pick up even more. So it's a bit sheltered in here. Um, worst case scenario, we'd go around the corner. But for now, flick our bait in. Now, we wait. Hey, Luke's on. Oh, you got him right there. <laughs> Just a tiddler. All right, to start anyway. Hopefully the bigger one's coming. Getting some tiny bites now. That's not what I want though, on a big run. Wind the slack, come on. Got him. Only a little bugger. A little bit bigger than Luke's one though, so. Getting up there. You beauty. There we go. We both got a fish now. Nice little prim, and that's on the chicken with the garlic spray. So, some garlic chicken. Still got bait, so I'm gonna pop that hook out and uh, reuse it. Let's put him back. Off you go, buddy. Alrighty. Wind's starting to blow even more, but this is what it is. So, we're gonna hook it back out there. Hopefully, we can upgrade in size. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit better. <laughs> There's some small ones picking at it. And then this guy came along. I don't think he's too big, but he's a bit better. We're getting there in size. So anything from that onwards, I'm happy with. We'll just lift him. We only got four pound litre, but let's see how we go with this one. Not bad, actually, that one. Nice little brim. Right in the corner. Take the hook out of you, mate. There we go. Another nice little brim. See if we can upgrade in size, eh? Catch you later. Good, our new bait. Fling it out a little bit deeper. Rest our rod there. Already, there's already a fish on it. I don't know if it's a bait or that, that garlic spray, but as soon as it hits the water, a fish is onto it straight away. Oh, this one could be a good one. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, don't go under there, mate. 
Don't go under there. Just a bit bigger than the other one. How good. Scoffed at that one. There we go, I think that's number three for me. And uh, we're getting to some nice ones now. How awesome are those colors? Nice little gold purple to it. So good. He's on. Better fish. At least you're upgrading in size too, so. Nice one. Cubes are really, really good too. So what we're gonna do, soak that stuff in it, and I'll uh, give it five minutes. And we'll chuck it on the hook. Look at that. One cube, hook it once. Just make the tip of the hook exposed like that. Surely it's gonna get smashed. Fling her out there. See how quick it takes for a fish to get it. Already a fish on it, look at that. Just small ones picking at it. Hopefully we have the same thing happen. A nice fish coming by and uh, takes it off him. Yep, he's on it again. Here we go. Whoa. At least the better ones are coming in now. And they are everywhere. <laughs> Another one on the board. Beautiful. Up at the ditch here, mate. <laughs> Fish are everywhere. And look how small this one is. Oh my god. What a tiddler. Looks like a yellow fin broom, that's how small he is. Little yellow fins there. Off he goes. What'd you got there? Yeah. Any broom? Small one, not big one. All put, put. All the Snow keepers. No. I saw you got some small ones in there. Eh? I saw you got some small ones in there. You got some undersized brim in there. What? You got some undersized brim in there. No, a small one. Yeah, you got some undersized brim. You gotta put them back. They're undersized. What? They're undersized. The brim. Oh. Can I see? No. Yeah, they gotta be 28 centimeters. Yeah? Yes, the, the brim has to be 28 centimeters. 28? Yes, 28. So they gotta be about that. Oh. Yeah, undersized. You see? Yes. Twenty-eight. Yeah, they got to be twenty-eight centimeters. Oh. Same size as a snapper. Oh. Because I, I catch brim too, and I, I only the twenty-eight centimeter ones you can yeah. keep. Okay. Um, but when they're under that, you got to put them back. Okay. Small one? Yeah, they're too small. This one? Yeah, too small. Okay. Yeah, good on you. Okay. Small. In about half an hour tie change. So you'll get bigger ones. Is it? Yeah, half an hour time. But yeah. 
Don't have a lot of meat on them anyway, the small ones. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh. That one might be all right. Oh, no, it's a bit small. Okay. No, a bit small, that one. Big one? Yeah, small. Yeah. Too small? Yeah. I tell you, when you, when you go, bring a, um, a fish ruler with you. Okay. Those ones that you got are a bit too small. Because mm. it takes about, for fish like that, it takes about 30 years. That's why it's good to uh, catch and release. Oh. But obviously the small ones, they're undersized, so, but yeah. All right. All right. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. Well, there we go, guys. We're moving spots, and uh, I caught that guy uh, with some undersized brim. Luckily, I saw that guy with a catch bag, and the brim were in there, so they're all alive, uh, which is really good. Lucky he just didn't chuck them in the esky. So what I did, I approached him, nicely said to put them back because they were undersized. Um, he was acting as if he couldn't understand, so I just tried and tried and uh, he put them back which is really good to see and they all swam off strong which is really good hopefully now he knows what's the size limit and um, hopefully he just gets the bigger ones if you can do catch and release it's awesome but yeah just those small ones it's uh, not good to see that sort of stuff happening and it happens pretty regularly so if you see something like that out there approach the angler um, let them know and um, hopefully they can release those undersized fish so now we're going to get back to our fishing and hopefully we can get some brim catch and release as per usual so let's see if we can get into a few. Hey, Luke's on. We move spots and uh, he's on straight away. I'm having a few small bites, but just some small ones. And uh, I think they're about that big there, even smaller. So not a good sign, but if we can get some bigger ones, that'll be awesome. Yep, fish on. Only a small one. Well, he's all right, but he's no big monster. That's pretty much the biggest one that the guy threw back. Look at that, there's a seal in here. It's not too common, but yeah, he's definitely chasing something. Some tiny bites now. There we go. We just had to move because there's too many small ones, but uh, by the looks of it, uh, the small ones are here too. But it looks like we have to go through these guys to get to the bigger ones. So we're just going to stay here for a little bit. At least we're a little bit protected from the wind. We have to punch through them and uh, work our way up to the bigger ones. We've got a decent sized bait here some garlic spray on it. So I'm just gonna fling under the pier. There's a fair bit of current. So I'm just gonna cast a little bit further and hopefully that's gonna drift straight underneath the bridge. And hopefully there's a decent sized fish, not just some small ones. There we go. There we go. Oh no, what's it around? There we go, got him out. Only a small one, I think. Yep. <laughs> Where are the big ones? Come on. Going to conclude here guys, nice little session. There's a lot of small fish around, so I'm not going to lie about that. Um, we did manage a couple of decent ones, which was all right. And uh, it was good that um, I got a guy that uh, was keeping undersized brim and uh, fortunately, all of them swam off pretty strong. So um, if you see anything like that out there, um, call fisheries or um, yeah, try and stop them. And um, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up comment your thoughts down below, press subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.